home for everything Lakers. Today, we're joined by Jeremiah Boswell of the Skill Factory. We're going to talk a little bit about Kai Soto and other NBA prospects as they get ready for the NBA draft. Jeremiah, thank you so much for coming on here. What is it that right now you guys are, are working on in order to get Kai specifically ready for the draft, which is, I mean, it, it's coming up fast. Um, with Kai, you know, you hear a lot of the same messages over, over the years, um, super skilled, um, a lot of talent, but some of the things we've been really focusing on both offensively and defensive, defensively is just lateral movement, explosion, quickness, you know, can he defend? How can he defend? Um, physicality, toughness. Kai definitely seems to have in, in his skill set is the ability to hit that outside shot, the three-pointer, which, I mean, we're seeing more and more in the modern NBA where they're asking for bigs who can stretch the floor like that. Um, but my big question coming into this, or at least one of them, was the lateral quickness, which you already mentioned. Can Kai keep up in, in that regard? Can he defend in space? He's become a really good uh, at, at shot fakes, right? So his shot fake is extremely effective. And so as he's making that three and you have to step out, he's really good making decisions with the ball and putting it on the floor. He's actually a really, really good finisher with his right hand. He's a lefty, but a lot of finishes go right hand. I'm so glad that you mentioned his his hand, that his right hand, because I wanted to, to ask you about this. I was talking with his dad, with, with Irvin, and we were talking about, you know, being left-handed and, and the kind of advantages that, that that can have. And through our discussion, it came out that, that Kai is actually right-handed, that he he writes with his right hand. He just happens to play basketball left-handed. And of course, LeBron James is, is the same way, just the inverse. He's left-handed, but but plays basketball with his right hand. One of the things that that I talked to, to Kai about um, was the, the pressure, that having an entire country, I mean, the Philippines are, are all very much behind Kai, the pressure of of that and and he spoke very positively about it and, and loves it and 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 all of that what what's been your takeaway from from that just having that all all those hopes and everything on him what have you seen in terms of his drive his work ethic and and, and all of that given given the pressure that's on him i think now um he's kind of his mindset is like about developing and getting better honestly like i don't feel that same sense of pressure like i think he knows um, as long as he does what he's supposed to do and continues to improve, he's going to get where he needs to be, you know, and I think he's kind of found a way to, um, you know, not listen to everything to value, you know, what's what, what he's in the moment he's in and the people that he's around and care about the family and know that he's doing all that he can.